have, what, three, two days of Vlogoween left. I am sad. I'm not ready for October to be over. Also, I'm exhausted. I'm crashing fast. I'm kind of conflicted. I wish we had more days left. And also, I'm looking forward to a very good long nap. Also, I'm filming today's video on a skateboard. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it's fun to kind of roll back and forth. Does it kind of look make me look like I'm hovering, though? Does it make me look like I'm gliding? Like I have special magical Halloween powers? Also, I have a little bit of a rumbly in my tumbly. I think it's time for me to eat. I also think it's like, uh, yeah, it's after midnight. Go figs. I got two big boxes in the mail. They look like this. They're identical. They're both this big size. They are all of my Halloween dolls kill goodies. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited because there are pieces of clothing in here that I look forward to every single year. Uh, like all of the wild fox pieces that they get in. So today's video is going to be a clothing and a shoe hurl doing some more fashiony kinds of things. Definitely the pieces that I look forward to probably the most every single year are the wild fox pieces that Dolls Kill always gets in stock. You guys, these are like my staples. You know what? I will take you to this section in my closet. It's very messy right now because clearly I've been using it all month long. Uh, so a, a lot of it is missing. It's not really all that cool right now, but I do have a Halloween section in my closet where all of my Halloween clothes hang. Some of them are from the thrift store. Some of them are black milk pieces, of course. And a lot of them are my dolls kill pieces that I've had through the years, which are a lot of wild fox pieces. You guys, some of these are so near and dear to my heart because, uh, like I said, they're, they're all gone. But here's like my mad scientist costume. Ooh, do you guys remember that one? I have Harley Quinn. I have a uh, clockwork orange in here somewhere, which I totally intended on doing. And of course failed miserably. But any who's, uh, I was trying to say some of these pieces are near and dear to my heart because a couple of years ago, I don't remember if it was 2013 or 2014, but I actually got to go to San Francisco and shoot at Dolls Kill, pretend to be a model for a day, and I got to model a lot of their Halloween stuff. So Halloween time at Dolls Kill is always near and dear to my heart. Uh, but anyway, uh, I have already been wearing this all day long. So this is from Wild Fox. And just FYI, I feel like their pieces are always a little bit on the oversized side. So this sweatshirt is an extra small. And I'm sure as you guys can see, it's kind of like a dress on me. It's very long. It's nice and baggy and roomy. So comfortable. You guys, we got this crazy cold snap of weather coming through and it was like 50 something degrees degrees today. It was not pleasurable, but this kept me nice and toasty. Let's go ahead and find the other wild fox pieces. They are staples to my life. And you guys, of course, know that I wear these on other months and other moments besides Halloween. It's basically Halloween now for the rest of the year for me. Uh, we might do my Halloween Christmas tree this year. I'm not sure. I'm kind of indecided. I don't know. Uh, but we have this cute, I always call these waffle. I guess they're technically called thermal tees, but it says evil eye roll. And it's a little bit shorter than three quarter sleeves, but a little bit longer than normal t-shirt sleeves. Also, by the way, for you guys' convenience, I think that if you go to dollskill.com slash bunny, all of these items that are going to be from this haul and my last couple of hauls will be on there for your easy perusal. Next Wild Fox piece, which is going to be perfect for my life for next month, uh, because I just got the Storybook Cosmetics Mean Girls palette uh, in the mail, and so I am totally gonna wear this when I film that video. And it's a little hoodie, it says, I'm a mouse. It's so incredibly soft and warm, but it has a little hoodie on it that has mouse ears. 
So you can just go like that. Ah, I'm a mouse. This to me is a year round piece. You can be a mouse in February or what month comes after this? November. Ugh. I feel like I like November and also I'm just always sad because that means October is over if we're in November. This reminded me a lot of Wild Fox, but it's not Wild Fox. I'm trying to see what brand this is. It says Michelle by Commune, but it's another super adorable graphic soft tee and it says under your spell and I love the font that the print is in and it has all these cute little stars all around it. Look at that! It is just a tiny bit sheer, but I don't think, eh, it's actually really not sheer. I don't know, it looks sheer, but then it's really not. Up next is, I think that this is current mood and you guys, well it just says dolls kill, so it might not even be current mood. Um, but this is so cute. You know what? I'm going to put it on really quick. I can't layer a sweatshirt over a sweatshirt though. So this has got to go. I am so out of steam. I woke up yesterday. I was not feeling good. And so we couldn't even make it to Austin for the Uncommon Objects store opening. Like I literally could not even get on the road. Um, so I feel like kind of bummed because I feel like I missed out on a day in history but I've literally, I don't know, I was like pretty wiped out for a majority of today. Um, so I was glad I had like at least one video pre-filmed because I would have been in trouble. As I'm sure you guys can see, it's all stitched up. It's like Frankenstein stitches. Woo! And I also really love how it kind of has this extra bit of fabric here that makes it more like a cowl neck. You guys see what I mean? And I have not had a sweatshirt or a hoodie like this since probably high school where there's little thumb slots so you can wrap it over your hands, but I'm digging it. Once again, this is nice and long, oversized. It definitely almost looks a little bit like a dress and I'm loving it. What do we have next? Oh, this adorable little keychain. I am so excited to put this inside of my purse so that loose change stops just being in the bottom of my purse, rattling around. But it's kind of like an iridescent alligator skin pouch. And it's got this nice little clip so you can clip it on the inside or the outside of your bag. And the clip is the keychain as well. I also think this would be great for like memory cards or chapstick, whatever you need. I think I'm gonna use it for change. But I don't know, cause change is kind of like dirty. Do you know what I mean? Like once you put change in something, you can never go back and use it for anything else cause forever it's gonna be grimy and dirty on the inside. Let's look at some sunglasses. I don't know what these are called. I'm gonna try and look on this sheet and figure it out. I am obsessed with these. I think that these are a collab with Too Poor. I think she's a model. I see her on Instagram. She has really amazing style. Let's say what these are called. I think these are the Cobra Snake Tinted Foxy Sunglasses. But look at how retro and cool and funky these are. Woo! I mean, this is like a Halloween haul, but a lot of this is obviously not like Halloween only. So now we have these sunglasses and you guys may know I'm pretty into like the checkered stuff this year, this season, this fall, whatever time it is, um, where it's like the black and white, you know, like the black and white, like, hello, I'm in NASCAR. I'm a NASCAR driver. If you're not first, you're last, that kind of thing. And I thought these would be perfect for those kinds of looks, those kinds of days. And these are by crap eyewear that is a hilarious it, it always it always gets to me and this is called the getting jiggy uh get jiggy with it na, 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 na. tempo sunglasses aren't these like literally called clout goggles why why is that is that because of like clout clout gang here on youtube is that why did youtubers get to name something that would be so cool now i'm just daydreaming about youtube we have some sweatpants obviously Perfect for my life. 
I need these right now because like I said, I'm cold. I'm cold and I'm uncomfortable and I want 100 degree days back again. Yes, please. Thank you very much. It is too cold for me already. I literally, if this is gonna be the remainder of the year, I don't know how I'm gonna live. You know what? I need to look at the weather right now and determine. I hope it's not gonna be that cold on Halloween because oh my gosh. <gasps> no, right now, okay, there's a, there's a rap tap tapping at my chamber door. First of all, that's a little creepy. Right now it's showing rain on Halloween. I am gonna flip my lid. I sincerely hope that's not true. It says uh, high 78, low 65. Dude, if it rains, if it rains, that's the worst. Halloween is the worst day of year that it can possibly rain. Uh, anyway, we have these comfy sweatpants by the brand Too Fast. And I think these are literally called the Halloween Everyday Sweatpants. So they have this really cool trick-or-treat motif at the top. It's a skeleton hand with some lightning bolts and some bats and a pumpkin for the trick-or-treaters. And then the rest of the front is just plain black sweatpants. But on the back, at the very bottom, ankles, uh, one side says Halloween and the other side says every day. If it was Halloween every day for real, that would be amazing. Oh my God. Did anybody else when they were little just want to go to Halloween town? I, I really hoped I could get on that bus, but the bus never came for me. Up next, we have once again, something that is so gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Like this is definitely so full and poofy and magical. I can't even show you guys all of it because I'm too short. Um, this skirt is definitely for days when I wear high heels because I am so short and it's so long. If I get up close, you guys can see that the top tool layer has all of these polka dots and it is just adorable. But, you know, I mean, once again, this is definitely like, I'm probably going to wear this on actual Halloween. I'm almost sure that I'm going to be a vampire. I think that's the direction that I'm going to go in. So I have like a red and black corset. And then I think I'm going to wear that skirt. And I think it's going to be amazing. Next, I have these really awesome socks. I feel like I have wanted these forever. They're by the brand Huff but they are glow in the dark Cheshire cat socks. So we're gonna have a spooky moment. I feel like this is like, this for some reason, this is like the scariest room in this house to me. I don't know why. Anytime I turn the lights off in here, I just cringe. You know, we're gonna do that at the very end. Maybe I'll forget. Up next, we have two truly terrifying looking masks. And let's go ahead and try them on. And I have on like a chapstick right now. Let's see, is it terrifying? How do I look? Do I look scary? <laughs> so we have one with that design. Oh, it just popped off my head. Uh, we have one with that design. And then we have a black one that has a lot more jewels on it. And you guys, this has got to be so much better than like ugh, all those tutorials I see this time of year where people are like literally painstakingly gluing rhinestones all over their face to make a skeleton. It looks amazing, but I literally, I don't know how you deal with that. It doesn't look fun. So this is like the quick and easy way to not actually glue stuff to your face. Ooh, there we go. How does that look? Am I beautiful? Am I beautiful? La, la, la. We've got more clothes. We have a beautiful plaid skirt. And the minute that I have time to do an outfit of the day again, I think it's gonna be starring this skirt. Uh, it's from the brand Some Days Lovin' and it's so grunge. And it makes me think of the good old days when everybody wore high-low skirts. Do you remember that? Because I do. And it has these ties in the front so that it looks like you're wearing plaid on plaid. Like you're wearing a plaid skirt, but that's not enough plaid. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We have a fabulous 
um, onesie. And I think I'm gonna wear this on Halloween after midnight once I go get all the magical half off Halloween goodies. The Dinka Junk Food Apocalypse onesie. Onesie was the word I was looking for. So vibrant, even has a little hood. Um, obviously long sleeve and look at it. It's just all these different junk foods. Dogman and I were looking at it just a few minutes ago and we were like literally finding a different piece of food every couple of minutes. There's sandwiches, popsicles, cupcakes, ice cream cones, lollipops, um, chicken wigs, gingerbread people. It has pockets so it's convenient for running any errand that you need to run. It's fleecy on the inside and really slick feeling on the outside. It almost feels a little bit like black milk on the outside, but I am loving it. Um, all right, now we have lots of shoes to look at. You guys, I was just talking and talking and talking and talking about these shoes. And I don't think any of it got recorded. My camera just cut me off. How rude. I'm getting a little bit warm, so we're gonna take off this hoodie. We're under a lot of lights right now. I'm like a bug. We're gonna start back over with the shoes for the sake of I don't feel like any of it got recorded. So uh, let's look at some amazing shoes. The first ones that I tried to show you guys are these beautiful Victoria lacing boots and lots of different functions for these, you guys. I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to put them in an outfit of the day. I feel like that's the only way that you guys are properly going to be able to see them. I actually feel like I might wear these to Dickens on the Strand this year because they really have a nice juxtaposition between Victorian looking boots and modern times. They also kind of make me think a little bit of boxing shoes, but mostly when I lace them like this. And I think I started to put in the wrong laces because you do get these extra lace packs, but I think I was using the wrong ones for the front of the boots since there are these two lacing sections back here. I think I used the shorter laces obviously on the boots instead of the long ones. I messed up just a little bit, um, but I feel like with the yellow laces, it makes them look like these really cool, almost old timey looking boxing shoes, right? Very comfortable. I mean, totally comfortable to walk around in very low heel. Uh, so these are current mood. Then the next ones I was trying to show you guys are these, which are called the bullseye boots. I told you guys I was so into the black and white stuff this year. And that is these to a T, uh, black and white, flip-flop, reverse, they look so cool. Also, I'm jealous of everybody that went to Burning Man while wearing these in the desert. It looked amazing. It was just like raver fashion to a T. It looked so gorgeous. I think I'm gonna do like an all black and white outfit one day, which I will have to photograph or film to share with you guys. Moving on to these boots, which I already wore once today. These are called the Starry Nights boots. I was gonna say Starry Night combat boots because that's what they look like to me. And you guys, these are just gorgeous. Look at them sparkle. Look at them shine. I have had shoes like this before. I still have them. They're over there. I'm looking at them right now. I think that they were in a shoe unboxing video last November, the other ones that I have that are super glittery like this, but these are perfect for like everyday wear. They add a little bit of glam to your outfit, but they're not like super high, crazy platform shoes. You know, these are much easier to pair with like jeans and stuff in my mind because, you know, you can just like throw them on and it's like where regular heeled shoes. Uh, I did not lace them up all the way. I wrapped the laces a couple times around the ankles and then tied a beautiful bow. And I, I love these. These are just so much fun in my opinion. I love anything that sparkles this much, especially when it's not getting up close to my face or my eye, uh, where glitter will get into my eye forever. Um, up next, I think these might be my Halloween shoes. I normally try and wear a special pair of shoes every Halloween. And I think that these are called the Cosmic 
boots. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, Vita Stud. I don't know how to say this word. It, it has Q-O co Cosmic. I just figured it out. It's like Cosmic spelled with a Q and a Z instead of a C and an S. Anyway, um, look at these. Once again, little chunky platform boots. So easy to wear. So easy to walk in. But they have all of these studs all over them that are little stars and little moons. And I really want to put a black light on these just to see what would happen because I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but they have this like crazy metallic almost iridescent effect to them um you know it's it's kind of like those things where in some lightings they look purple in other lightings they look green so i want to know what happens if we put a black light or a blue light on them so that's why i'm thinking i want to wear them on halloween up next we have some more current mood shoes and i think these just dropped and you guys i vow to do like a 90s lookbook next year. I was gonna shoot for it this year and uh, this year just got away from me like a speeding train off its track. Uh, even though I almost feel like these look a lot more 80s than 90s, so bedazzled, so gorgeous. Uh, so they are, what are these called? These are the Current Mood Superstar Gym Boots. And I am ready to pair these with some acid wash denim. They just look gorgeous. And you guys, the studs in here, they feel like so implanted, so well made. Like I feel like these could definitely be a staple piece if you love kind of like throwback, vintage-y kind of retro fashion. Also, I thought it was pretty cool that they gave like a whole bag full of extra studs and gems and stuff just in case you ever have to uh get them repaired if you wear them constantly and knock the little gems out you could just take them to a shoe hospital uh, maybe you could do it yourself i don't know how easy it would be last but certainly not least are shoes that i have been waiting for for so long uh these have sold out two or three times prior so if you want them you literally better run, run to the website and order them now because I know they're gonna sell out again. Uh, so these are by Current Mood and these are called Cosmic Matter, I believe. But look at that, look at that. Uh, they're like goosebumps, but vibrant and fashionable. Do you know what I mean? Like the heels, I think just the mixture of this purple and lime together just makes me think of goosebumps um but i also just love how it's like alligator skin and definitely like that really cool color switch i don't know what it's called i don't think that that i mean they clearly are iridescent but i don't know what it's called color shift maybe when things look orange and then they look yellow and then they look green depending on what lighting they're in they almost look like they're in a like they look a different color mostly on camera I think with the lighting they are coming across looking like really red but in person they look like more yellow and green see if I kind of tilt them like that maybe you guys can see I really love this kind of like ice skater lacing is what I always call it um but I always think it just looks so cool and obviously you could switch the laces out on these I think I would love to try and find um I don't know what uh, organza ribbon maybe it is, like the kind of see-through chunky ribbon stuff. If I could find some in green or purple, that would look awesome too. So that is everything, you guys. One like equals one, I do believe, in jack-o'-lanterns. We only have a couple of days left. And you guys, I really am sad about it because as every year, I don't even get in all the videos that I planned or that I want to do. Tomorrow is going to be Boyfriend Buys My Halloween Costumes. I just saw Joey do it. I don't know if anybody else has done it, but I saw it and I thought it looked like so much fun and I loved Boyfriend Buys My Outfits so much that I thought we should do that one too. So that's going to be tomorrow and then you guys know the last day is always going to be the epic treat bag video. I'm so looking forward to putting the treat bags together. 
I'm ready. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!